Indeed, Scott, and well, we'll happily try and send you a leopard if you want one. I'll try and arrange for a stuffed little toy to arrive in Kenya. Shall we send him a stuffed little leopard? I think we should, just to make Scotty's day and to try and give him a leopard. I'm sure, though, at some point they will find a leopard in the Mara. There are some there, and I'm pretty sure that they will show themselves to Scott. And as they say, when you're patient and when you have to kind of battle a lot, then sometimes you'll actually get the best sighting ever. So I'm pretty sure Scott's in for an epic one at some point, and he'll get something as amazing as what we are seeing today. It is unbelievable to think that we not only got this beautiful male leopard, but Shongile here, and the interaction between between the two has been amazing so this afternoon we've seen a little go between them during the school drive and this morning after the show wrapped Seb and I just spent a little bit longer here just to enjoy the sort of sight and well when you've got two leopards you always do that and there was a lot of growling and hissing and, and Mvula chased after Shongile a little bit and she kind of squealed and then ran off and then sat down again and it was just fun to watch the two of them interact and she's very brave for her age I'm so impressed with how much she's kind of stands her ground and she growls and she hisses and she She's already got that little trait of her mom where she doesn't back down for anyone so it's really cool to see and so she's just been kind of looping around and I believe just after we left then that other leopard came out and was most definitely Tundi so that's the three leopards that were here this morning and Tandi might still be here somewhere. Shungile just now got chased off by Mvula and ran a little bit to the south and then came quickly trotting back this way so maybe Tandi is also lying somewhere around here which is pretty insane that we've got all this sort of different lineages together and I know Tandi is kind of related to Shungile in fact she's not kind of she is related to Shungile as a sister but well there's still quite a lot of separation between the two of them and it makes it interesting to watch the dynamic between all three of these leopards. Now Laura, I think it was Laura, was it Laura said? Yes, it was Laura. You were... Sorry, I'm just trying to see something. I thought I saw another leopard cruising through the bush there, but it's not. Can you just repeat that again for me, Alice? Sorry, I now just completely lost my train of thought. I thought it was another leopard, but it's not. Sorry, it was just... So, Laura, you want to know if there's any chance that she'll get the kill back? Uh, I'm pretty much sure there's no chance. Unless he drops a leg or something like that, I highly, highly doubt it. Every time she tries to come close, he starts growling and hissing at her and telling her to back off. So I don't think so at all. I'm pretty sure he's going to sleep now. As soon as that sun gets lower this afternoon, we're going to find Mvula shooting up here. And she's going to then, unfortunately, watch him devour the rest of her carcass. So even though she's spending all day and lots of energy going round and round this particular leopard I don't think she's gonna have much luck in being able to actually get back what she kind of caught so and if it's something does fall who knows if Tandi is still here maybe she then runs in and chases Shongile off that so she's really got a tough time of it don't be nasty to her yes we know you're a big boy don't be grumpy go back to sleep So Monique from London, he is just guarding the kill. That's all it is. He's literally sitting right at the base of the tree. This morning he came down and he walked off a little bit and found some shade and lay down. And Shongile was a little bit cheeky. She quickly kind of sneaked in. And so he came in and chased her off. And then he lay right at the base of the tree. So with two other leopards being here, he can't afford to go far away because both of them will then try, or well, either one of them would try and shoot up and try and grab that carcass. So he's got to stay right at the base of the tree, wait it out. When it gets cooler this afternoon, afternoon he's going to go up and he'll devour that there will be nothing left by this evening he'll be able to eat all of that it is quite intimidating when he does look at us but he'll eat all of that and then from there he'll come down and go and get water but it's really so good to have him here and I wonder if he'll still be here in the morning it would be really great to look at that isn't that amazing to be able to see those beautiful big eyes of Mvula. Now, he's got some of the most incredible eyes of all of our cats out here. They're almost ghostly looking. And when you stare at him, you certainly know that there is a big cat staring at you. So it is really quite something that Seb's been able to capture those two eyes kind of staring at us. Well done, Seb. That's very good. Now, our leopard drama is continuing and seems to be unfolding as the afternoon's going on and so we're going to stay here pretty much all of the afternoon and try and make sure we see what goes on because I think we're in for another spotted surprise later and I don't think it's going to be of the leopard kind I'm pretty sure the hyenas are going to come so while we sit and wait out and see what arrives and how this all plays out this evening let's go back to James all the way in the Mara with his fancy hat